No Lionel Messi. No Jordi Elba in the 20. Leonardo Campana rests. Thomas Avila suspended because of yellow card accumulation. But 4-3-3, the system that won them League's Cup, Arroyos. The Chicago kid, Brian Gutierrez, back in the attack. And Rafael Shios, their captain, returns on the back line. And how about the Chicago kid, Brady, in goal? I think the key tonight to either team's playoff hopes. Joe Dickerson, the referee today, gets it underway in front of a sold-out Soldier Field. The Chicago Fire on set pieces. Can Chicago take advantage? A carry into the middle and a dangerous spot. Still loose. And just over. Wonderful chance for the Fire. Unable. So what's going to give? The worst team defending set pieces or the worst attacking team? Yeah, or a commitment from the entire team of supporting sure. Kutsias into the final third. Only one run. Oh, he might be in now. Kutsias deflection. Come on, Miller at the last moment, keeping it from Dumbia and keeping it scoreless. I just love Kutsias' sense in and around the 18. Very quick and tight spaces. Has the ability, particularly in open space. I think it's been a little too pragmatic and a little too slow at times, which has allowed Chicago Fire to get out on the break. Dean Herbers, Kutsias in the middle, makes it to It's the moment they've been waiting for in Chicago from Shakiri. Chicago have not made that run enough. Miami trying to get it back right away for a slug and miss. Kowalski, it looked like a handball. It is given by Joe Dickerson. Penalty for Miami and a decision on a color for this card. With the right arm. Farias just misses this one, but it falls. Look at that. Jonathan Dean doing exactly where he is, turning, making his body bigger. The arms wide. I actually think yellow cards, the, he's changed that a little bit. He's gone to the goalkeeper's right when he doesn't take that little hop skip beforehand. Such an important moment for Inter Miami's season. Joseph Martinez to bring Miami level. Haile Selassie getting ready to come on for the fire, and he will replace the homegrown Brian Gutierrez. Gutierrez. Gutierrez out of the game because he's dealing with a sore knee. They wanted him off of it as soon as possible. Haile Selassie, they said, so good 1v1. Here's Joseph Martinez coming forward. Ferraris is in! And wide. The first 15 minutes of this second half. Miller will step forward for Miami. What a ball, Martinez, and Kowalski! Taylor under pressure from Navarro. Taken away by Holly Selassie. Holly Selassie off of Kristoff, only as far as Herbers. of Inter-Miami. Bad giveaway here from Inter-Miami and Robert Taylor. But as critical as I was of Chicago on the other end, keeping Kramaski on, Kamal Miller, too slow to recognize in this moment. Now with Kristoff stepping forward, you've got to step forward. You're too slow. Haile Selassie onside. With the playoffs on the line, both teams desperate for goal.
Chicago really trying to put the pressure on Miami. When Inter-Miami won League's Cup this summer, everyone talked about the amount of goals they scored, absolutely. But what they didn't talk enough about is still the propensity to be susceptible defending for balls in wide areas. Remember FC Dallas in League's Cup. Remember Orlando City, balls from wide areas, Inter-Miami struggling. But good on Haile Selassie as a second half sub. Your job's to change the game. How'd you do that, sir? Then okay, nine points in the final three games may get you in, but losing tonight. Jimenez again, so good. Shakiri is through. Shakiri for a fourth. He has met the moment. Kristoff. Bad giveaway here from Farias, but as Jimenez plays that ball. Is Shakiri in an offside position? I think it's close. I do not see a clear and obvious offside position. But for the amount of criticism that Shakiri has taken, and I think unfairly at times for the lack of the ability of his teammates to put the ball in the back of the net, tonight, 60,000, his face plastered all over this city.